All right, Bryson, talk a little bit about your, your putting grip. It's definitely a, a unique way to, to grip the, the putter, um, not something that, that everybody kind of sees every day. So kind of walk us through a little bit about how your, your technique is. Yeah, I saw Matt Kuchar one day and I said, that's gotta be the easiest way to putt. Um, and I went after it. So, so I went to the guys at SICK and got fit by them and they have this uh, DLT technology, descending loft technology, it allows it to launch properly in a lot of different situations. Sure. But I realized that this arm lock allows me to be super stable when I'm up and over it. So no matter what, if anything happens, I can still, no matter what, feel like I'm rolling it down my line. Mm. Um, no matter what comes into play. I used to have, I used to struggle in college on three footers and things like that. I struggled really badly for a while. And I've struggled until I found this. Nothing can bother me under pressure now. Super smooth, super controlled, yeah. just because I have a, you know, something to, to brace it against. and lock it in there which allows me to just be more repeatable and then i also get really stiff and you know what people call robotic looking that allows me to repeat motion on a higher level instead of being you know here and then i can move just a little bit sure you can get out of out of, out of sorts if you aren't careful i'm not controlling that every day but if i just lock 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 everything out allows me to just repeat motion consistently so it looks like standing over the ball, the, the shaft leans a little bit forward. Do you do anything differently, add more loft, anything like that to kind of make sure that your launch conditions are off? You have to add more loft. How, with however much you, uh, I guess, de-loft it, you have to re, you have to add that loft back on. So for me, my loft is around seven to seven and a half degrees, depending on the surface type.